Hello, welcome back to the woods. Now so far, 2020 has been pants for a lot of reasons. Not least of all, CV19 and the whole lockdown thing. And what that's meant for an awful lot of us is we can't, couldn't get out in the woods to do what we love doing. But now that we can, well, I think the whole lockdown is gonna have a bit of a knock-on effect. What I think is gonna happen is that we will spend every opportunity we can getting out into the woods. And we're gonna do this for as long as we can. And when I say for as long as we can, I mean into the winter. Because let's face it, for an awful lot of people, bushcraft tends to be a warmer weather activity. So I think what it's gonna mean this year is that we're gonna go from a sleeping bag this size to something this size, because this is what you are gonna to need to get you through the winter months. And that's what I wanna talk about, because upgrading to a sleeping system that will see you right the way through the year can be an expensive business, but not if you know what to look for. What we're gonna look at is the MSS modular sleeping system, the one used by the British Army. So this is the system all laid out. Essentially, it's a series of bags and liners and covers that you can use individually or in various combinations to suit a wide range of different conditions. Whether it's very warm, but still wet, whether it's very warm, but dry, whether it's very cold and wet, whether it's cold and dry. It goes from jungle environment right the way through to Arctic environment, all in one system. So here we have the system all laid out. The bag I've got on the top is the medium modular bag. And this is the main bag if you're in a temperate environment, this will see you through the whole year pretty much. Unless it's really warm, in which case this is too hot to use uh, and you might want something lighter. But for everything else, this is pretty good. It's based on the Corinthia De Defence 4 excellent sleeping bag that uses top materials this was copied it uses slightly lower spec slightly bulkier slightly heavier materials but it's a bloody good bag it's got the little opening there's no neck baffle inside what you have got inside you open it up you've got a big chunky zip good size zip baffle inside you've got two large chest pockets which you don't get on the Corinthia. Uh, this was something that spilled over from the old issue sleeping bag, the 90 pattern one. Um, you can store wet kit, you can store stuff you need to get to in the night like your head torch, um, even heat pads in these two pockets. Brilliant idea. Also inside there you've got various little tabs and they're positioned at the shoulders, the head, down at the feet and halfway up and that's for securing the inner bag. And this one is the, the inner bag, the lightweight bag or jungle bag. Designed for use in warm weather quite a nice compact bit of kit and to be honest I find this with a silk liner which I tend to use my more scarf as my liner in either bag um, and perhaps a little lightweight fleece liner with the bivy bag is good for pretty much all conditions outside of winter. It's got a couple of nice little features it's got bug net in the front now it's not the no see and net in the very fine stuff but it's not bad, certainly for use in the UK, 
I found this absolutely great. Opening it up again, those big chest pockets, and they are a real bonus if you're out overnight because you stash kit in your sleeping bag where you know it's going to be warm, dry and safe and you can get to it. Under that we've got the bivy bag or its correct designation is breathable sleeping bag cover. This one is one of the old DPM ones, the new MTP, it's just a different camouflage pattern, is identical However, <clears throat> this one is the old one in DPM. It was the one I could get hold of. A great big, some people say a bit bulky, bit of kit, but it is absolutely bomb proof. No zip to let in water. It's a big, solid sleeping bag cover, and it is very, very good. Now the great thing about these bags, because they're military spec, is they're designed to be soldier proof. They're robust. They think of good things. The inside chest pockets are a real boon, particularly for winter camping. Keeps everything warm, all your battery stuff inside sleeping bag where it's warm and will continue to function. It's also got nice little touches like inside the zip baffle, you've got a zip repair kit. Nothing worse than if you're caught out, suddenly your puller goes on your sleeping bag and you're absolutely stuck. It doesn't matter with these, you've got a spare tucked away in there. They really have thought these things out really, really well. Now one of the other great things with these is because they're designed for the military, they're cut quite big and quite roomy because they're designed for a soldier to get into with all his gear on. What that means to me is I can put my air mattress inside the sleeping bags. It means I don't roll off during the night and these don't get punctured. Now, as I said, I've mentioned the, the compression bags. Now, the issue with compression bags that go with these, uh, I got one of the small ones to go with the lightweight bag. And what I found was it was really difficult to actually stuff the bag inside. It was too tight, they're cut too small. But you can get the old issue jungle sleeping bag compression bags and the old issue 90 bouncing bomb compression bags for the old sleeping bag and that will they will fit both of the new system. Indeed the big sleeping bag and the lightweight sleeping bag will both fit into one large compression bag, which is good to know in the winter. The other fantastic thing about these is while they are quite bulky and quite heavy, they are also incredibly cheap. A Corinthian Defence for well, it's going to cost you over a hundred pounds. These are check round 30, 35 on eBay and from your local army surplus store. And that's for a brand new item. I don't think they come with the stuff sacks. That is something that has to be bought extra, but a little bit more about those in a bit. The inner bag costs about the same. I've seen them brand new for as little as 30 pounds, which is not a whole lot of money for a sleeping bag. You put the two of these together, it only <laughs> still comes in at less than 70 pounds, which for a sleeping bag, which will take you through the summer, through the autumn, into the winter, and into the extreme, because you can marry the two sleeping bags up using the ribbons inside, and suddenly you've got a sleeping bag that's gonna take you well down into the minuses. So you could sleep out when there's snow on the ground, very cold temperatures in this system. That's what it's designed to do. The bivy bag, sleeping bag cover, again, you can pay a lot of money for a bivy bag. These ones, 
40, 50 pounds and you're getting a very good quality, excellent bivy bag that is part of a very good system. Put the whole lot together and for less than about 130 quid you have got this fantastic sleep system. The other great things with these bags is because they don't cost a whole lot of money, you're not scared to modify them. If you take a pair of scissors to your Corinthia de Defence 4, well, not many people are going to do that because they cost such a lot of money. But one of these doesn't cost a great deal. Now, those of you who are very eagle-eyed probably noticed all sorts of little extra openings and extra things attached to mine and that's because both of my bags the inner lightweight bag and the outer bag the medium weight bag have been modified so I can use them with a hammock a hammock threads through the inside of both bags to create a system that I can use in the winter it means I don't have to carry an under blanket I literally just carry the sleeping bag and it turns itself into a hammock cocoon If it gets really, really cold, well, I just use the little lightweight bag inside the other bag, inside the hammock. So the whole lot keeps me nice and toasty warm and is nice and flexible. In the summer when it's very warm, I just use the lightweight bag around the outside of my hammock, the little mozzie net across the front, and I've got a good system for the summer months. The bivy bag sleeping bag cover well, I've modified my one of those as well so as well as it being a standard sleeping bag cover it can also be turned into a small portable one-man shelter both of those projects what I'll do is I'll put links to those in the description box below go over and have a look it shows you what you can do with a little bit of thought to make this system that is already exceptionally good to something that is very good and very versatile. So there you go, that's my top tip my recommendation for a sleeping bag if you are in the market either to replace one or perhaps it's the first one you've ever bought yeah they're a bit bigger and a bit bulkier but they do cost less money and they are bomb proof they will last you for years so go and check them out I'll see if I can put a link in the description box below for what they are I'll write down what their actual designations are but they're out there, they're available, and I think they're very, very good. It's getting a bit windy. Right, that's all from me. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and of course, turn on the notifications, so that you know next time I put a video out. You can also go and check me out over on Instagram, on Facebook. Again, in the links box down below, you will find uh, a link to that. You also find my link to my Etsy shop. It's called the Green Craft Shop. Over there, there's a selection of things, including the Green Craft patch, mugs, pouches, all manner of good stuff. Go and check it out. Uh, there's also a link to my Patreon page down there. If you want to get involved with the channel, uh, perhaps help support it, then it doesn't cost a lot of money per month, pop over and check it out. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods.